I've noticed a trend that we live in and it's a trend of always blaming the people that you lead when I think you should encourage those that you lead. Um, so a lot of people get hung up on, you know, bringing up the past or things that have hurt you. Yeah, it's going to hurt anybody. Like, duh. <laughs> so the more we bring it up or the more we point at the people who have been hurt, the less we're leading them forward. So we can spend the exact same time, let's use the next 10 seconds, I'm proud of all the people that have raised me. I'm proud of all the people, teachers, parents, friends, family, everybody. You guys are doing so great. Forget about your past and I wanna see you move forward because there's so many people out here that could use the love that you've lost, that you've lost for yourself and for so many others. So just like that, I could have kept rambling on about people that are always angry and rambling about the current culture of our leadership these days. I love them. I love all you guys. I love you. One of your biggest fans. I'm one of the weirdos that like you all. But we keep talking about what's wrong with little Timmy. Well, little Timmy got hit by a car. And now he has a limp. So unless somebody comes and fixes his limp, quit making fun of him for having a limp. Oh, Timmy, just got over your limp. It's a limp. And until we come take care of that leg, Timmy's leg, and we build him another one, and we kiss him, and we hug him, then quit kicking the dog. I love you. You're better than this. You can do it. Parents, it's okay to say you're sorry. What, did God give you so much more that you can't say you're sorry to your kids? I hear parents all the time complaining about their kids. And all you got to do is sit and listen to them for about three minutes. And you look and you go, huh, no wonder, poor kid. But this isn't about being mean to parents. But it dang sure ain't about being mean to kids because Jesus loved the little children. He didn't walk around and say, hey, kids, come here. I'm sorry this happened, but you got to get over it. No, he just gave them love, uh, kindness, you know, and he turned, he turned what they had, what the children had when the parents didn't have food for the multitudes that anybody wanted to eat. Nobody showing up for dinner? Get food that people want to eat, which is Jesus' food. Which is love, forward thinking, kindness, peace, gentleness, the fruits of the Spirit. So yeah, just because we can look into a history book and say, right here in this history book, this person made mistakes. But that's why we have this God in heaven that loves us so much. And which is why I want you to get involved with the church somewhere. Come up to Free Chapel. You know, this isn't their thoughts. This is mine. This is God speaking through me, but they give you a chance to uh, grow under a lot of leadership. And they have a lot of uh, Pastor Jason Franklin, best pastor on the planet, but they have a multitude of pastors. Um, so you get to hear different opinions. And oftentimes that's what's so good. But today it's a complete book, that Bible. It is finished. Amen is the last words in it. So be it. So we are forgiven. We are righteous. So to think about others as if they are not or to blame them for their limps, it's untrue. God bless you. And this is because I love you.